It was the old Web 1.0 gaming humour site Old Man Murray that coined the concept of the start to crate video game rating system, or how long you have to play through a game before you encounter a crate. Jokingly, the writers posited that since every fucking game in the universe features crates, then it follows that every game can be judged by their crates. Jolly funny idea, giggle giggle. But there's something in the idea of judging games by a single seemingly small detail that they all have in common. And that's what I've been thinking about this week. There's one singular moment that appears in every video game with some kind of combat element, and that's the moment in which combat is introduced. Which sounds obvious, but in abstract it's probably one of the most significant turning points in the early phase of a game's critical path. Not only is it the bit where the primary combat loop gameplay finally kicks in, but it's also the first chance the game has to showcase some of that sweet monster design we're going to be seeing for the rest of the run, and it's a pivotal moment in the plot. It's when the player character realises they're in danger, having up until now been merely blissfully exploring an abandoned town looking for their missing daughter or whatever. So the monster introduced production can be a vital moment in the early part of a game that sets the tone for everything to come, and there are plenty of games that make an appropriate song and dance about it. I'll tell you why this topic came to mind. I was playing a new game, I forget exactly which, when suddenly camera control was taken from me so that it could point cinematically at a wall through which burst a giant monster, who proceeded to plant their feet, spread their arms apart and roar into the camera, spit flying everywhere. Then there was an awkward pause as it and my character stared at each other unmoving, before click control returned and the AI turned on so everything could start moving again. Again, and something about this struck me as familiar. Oh yes, I thought, I've seen this exact sequence play out 500 billion times in video games, and I'm getting really bored of cleaning angry spit off the camera lens. So maybe it's time to cite a few examples of games that actually did something interesting with their monster idros. Monstros? No, that's the whale from Pinocchio, isn't it? The classic example would be the moment you run into the first zombie in Resident Evil, and get the little pre-rendered cinematic of it turning around. Survival horror does seem to be the genre most likely to play up the monster intro because of its aforementioned a particular importance as a story beat, and just to get the inevitable out of the way, yes I like how Silent Hill 2 does it. The cutscene starts with the focus apparently being on Big Jimbo Sunderland inspecting his new radio, but then the camera angle shifts and we and he both realise there's a slime monster standing up right next to him. What I like about it is that on a rewatch you realise the monster's visible from the beginning of the scene, and it's just a subtle change in camera framing that causes you to notice it. There is the horror that comes from being suddenly plunged into danger, and there is the horror of realising you're already in danger and have been oblivious to it up to now, which I find slightly more effective at creeping me out. But the Silent Hill 2 example is still taking control away from the player for its monster intro and often leaving the player in control can make it more effective. In that respect, Silent Hill 1 probably has its sequel beat, with the iconic opening sequence in which the player traverses a linear corridor describing a gradient from nice stable foggy reality to a dark bloodstained hell dimension, where we get cut to pieces by naked monster children. Although the impact is lessened in the European release, because for some reason the sensors got a bit weird about naked monster children, so instead you have to get torn apart by what looked like little brown furry penguins with claws. To move slightly away from survival horror, I'd also highlight the introduction to head crabs at the start of Half-Life. Right after the accident, you stumble into a lab and a head crab teleports into a broken glass cylinder nearby, but it can't get to you. It can only hurl itself impotently against the glass, gnashing its horrible little monster vagina, while you wave your unmolested head towards it and laugh. Then, two rooms later, a head crab teleports right into the room you're in, before you've had a chance to find a weapon, and you can only run away, yelling apologies for taking the piss out of his friend. To move straight back to survival horror again, I always admired the way Alien Isolation introduces the titular bastard, in that it doesn't really introduce it at all. It takes a while to set it up, but the moment you're finally in the room with it, it just drops in without a word, like an unwanted relative, and it's on you to find a way to cope. So from a story perspective, a good monster intro can be very subtle, or it can fly through a plate glass window at you, but what about from the gameplay side of things? As I said, this is the player's introduction to the combat system, and that creates a paradox for the designer, in that it needs to spark excitement and seem threatening, but it also can't actually be hard. The worst thing that can happen is for the player to die during the monster intro, and have to go back and repeat it, because it instantly deflates the dramatic tension before it's even had a chance to build. I think of Callisto Protocol and Outlast 2, both games in which the very first enemy chopped my knackers off due to poorly explained combat mechanics, and thus was all impact gone, because the game had blown its load, and already shown me how bad it was ever gonna get. Another way to kill the tension is to have no urgency at all. Doom 2 springs to mind. Not Doom 1, that's got a pretty functional monster intro, you open a door and there's a monster in the room
room getting mad at your basic stuff. But Doom 2 starts you off staring right at two monsters who are looking the other way and oblivious to your presence. I mean, overall Doom 2 is a good game, but I always thought that was a terrible kickoff. You can walk right up to the stupid bastards, get a good look at their design and pinch their bums and nothing happens as long as you don't walk in front of them. Much like dying too soon, it kills the mystique. But it's Doom Eternal that takes the big prize for worst monster intros I can think of. Not only do they take control and do the forced cutscene roar into camera thing for every new monster, just when you think it's going to end and return control to you, they kill the music and fling up a fucking pop-up window with precise instructions on how to fight it. Thanks, Doom Eternal. Things were getting dangerously close to exciting for a second there. Meanwhile, Dark Souls, with its introductory Asylum Demon fight, I think manages to strike the necessary balance between threat and simplicity by having you run the fuck away the first time he jumps down and ruins the floor tiles. So after a little tutorial, you can then turn the tables on the fat bastard, fittingly enough, by jumping down on his stupid gormless face. Hmm. Dark Souls, Silent Hill 2, Half-Life. On reflection, most of my positive examples seem to be from games I generally like anyway. But that just goes to show how a good monster intro can have a very significant impact on one's opinion of a game. Okay, here's a good one from a game I generally hate. Wolfenstein Youngblood. The whole sequence where the main characters kill their first Nazi and both immediately throw up. I actually found that kind of funny, and quite humanising, as well as very effectively setting the tone for the rest of the game, it being a load of old sick. So let's do the usual thing I do when I don't have a comfortable way to tie things up and appeal to the comments. What are some of your favourite monster stroke combat introducing moments in games, entirely divorced from the rest of the experience? Let us know down below. Then look alive and click subscribe. And don't be a Hatrian, subscribe to the Patreon.